I tried the residential route a little bit. And man, yeah. I, I'm I'm not really feeling that, bro. I am not okay. really feeling that. <laughs> hey, I I, right. I messed around on Angie and lost a lot of my capital. So I'm really hoping that I really just catch a, another fire too, yeah. another you know energy and zeal to really just get motivated. So that's yeah. that's really what I'm what I, I I can't wait to do that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Soak okay. up, soak up, soak up the game. To the top, they ain't none of y'all stopping me. Used to say I never get a ring, Charles Barkley. Now I got a wife, got kids, own property. Bubble eye beans, it look like that be watching me. Okay, I lied about the beans, but that was hard though. I'm still in that black act, but she starred though. Cause that's all it takes. Oh, I'm flashing for I'm on my grind, not no more fashion show. Man, a partner of mine turned me on to you, um, Man, sometime last year, and I just been watching your stuff. I did a little bit of cleaning before, mm -hmm. um, and I was kind of. It was really for uh, like my father in law. Yeah, and uh, man, he had some like a pretty big contract. It was like with some schools and stuff. So I was just working with them, but mm -hmm. I was never motivated. I didn't know, just didn't see the potential in the cleaning industry like that until uh, that that kind of came to an end. But it motivated me how everything ended to kind of get into it myself. So, bro, turn me on to you, and uh, I just been watching you. So, um, kind of where I'm at is, man, I kind of I tried the residential route a little bit, and man, yeah. I, I'm I'm not really feeling that, bro. I am not okay. really feeling that. <laughs> hey, I I, right. I messed around on Angie and lost a lot of my capital. So, I'm kind of yeah. trying to build my capital back up, and I'm buying leads when I can from you. Okay. Uh, so I haven't landed my first contract yet. So that's my, my biggest goal right now. But okay. as far as just being uh being ready, for the most part, I'm ready. But I, I pretty much know what you're gonna tell me to do. That's the crazy part. You're gonna tell right. me like, <laughs> you know, when you got your capital, you can buy leads, you know, you hand out your business cards, go door to door, and uh bust them cold calls up and get that Google search. Because I already know. Watching, you know what I'm yeah. <laughs> so I'm already knowing what I need to do. I just gotta stay true to it and keep keep going. It's just Yeah. That's so I'm the guy, I'm the horror. I'm the guy who won the free ticket to your oh, okay, uh, but that's me. So okay, that's congrats. why I want to jump on here. Yeah, so you can see my face when they let me in the door. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> right, I got you, uh, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm really hoping that I really just catch a, another fire too, yeah. another you know energy and zeal to really just get motivated. So that's yeah. that's really what I'm what I, I I can't wait to do that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Soak up, okay. Soak up, soak up the game. Yeah, I would say this too. So you you what you you say you truck driving now, right? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. For for a partner of mine, I'm doing like some uh like pharmacy, like you know. I'm not an independent carrier, but I'm I'm through him. He got the contract. Gotcha. I'm working for him. Subcontract, and I just drop off pharmaceutical. Yeah. Gotcha. So he basically doing what you about to try to do on a, in the cleaning space, then pretty much. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right, that's what, okay. And, and like I peeped this too. Like it's crazy how this whole situation fell in my hands, but it helped me because I see the opportunity on this side and how how they running it. Yeah. But just witness it firsthand it's money to be made over here for sure but it's just the difference between this space and the cleaning industry it's just that amount of overhead yeah this is gonna be higher with the vehicles the the maintenance the gas and i'm not as accustomed to the rules and regulations high end with the cleaning so it just makes more sense to just keep stay true to what i've been doing in, in, the, in the mission you know yeah that's smart man that's exactly why i chose it it was like shit, it's easy to do we're gonna be in the ac you know what i mean then it's like i already know how to do it and it's easy to teach somebody else how to do it so it's good good that you thought that part out. a lot of people don't even think that far and they get into a business and be like Fuck, i don't even want to be out here in this sun cutting grass or whatever niche they pick you know what i mean mm. and then i um tell me bro i be watching you like a hawk so <laughs> I <heard you> go. <laughs> hey man you giving out too much games and too cheap bro so i'm watching you you know while it's still cheap sure. you know what i'm saying i'm trying to get in right <laughs> um, I seen that new lead generation thing where you got the monthly. I got to check out the prices and everything too. But that's gonna be a that's major though, bro. So, yeah, no, that's that right there. Eventually, the old leads gonna go away altogether. Ain't gonna be no more buy one one at a time. We gonna do straight that because it should have been like that the whole time. But it just took me this long to figure it out. 
have it systemized and everything. Yeah, you know I mean, put it all in your software before you do everything. You know, because a lot of times that'd be the little stuff too that you know cleaning business owners don't got time for. They ain't try to take the time to put the appointment in the software and you know all of this stuff. It's like fuck, we we'll do all that for you. You ain't got to hire no VA to put it on your calendar, none of that. Hey, you gonna kill them with that one, bro? Oh yeah, <laughs> I, can, I can already see the potential with that. It's crazy. For you sure. brilliant. You brilliant for that. <laughs> Appreciate you. Brilliant. You. I don't know how, if you seen that from the beginning, but you knew you had to take these steps. You crazy? Like I'm. That's a play. Right. That's two hundred IQ right there. Um, <laughs> but I seen you go into it. You said you was kind of entrepreneur hopping, man. You was had your hands in a lot of different baskets and stuff. Yep. And uh, that was game that I soaked up. That's one of the things my pops told me. He said you're gonna be good and. It, mainly you can be good at anything you really want to do, but you got to really focus on what you really want to do. And that's going to be the biggest hurdle for you. And when yep. you said that, it was just like, that's it's universal when it comes to that knowledge right there is just, you it's, it's applicable in this situation. It's heavy right now. Yeah. 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 It's crazy. You said that I, I was just listening to one of my old videos and I was talking about that, like how I was jumping around and all of the different stuff. And if I could just do it all over again, it's a blessing though, because now why is this for y'all? But if I could do it all over again, shit, I just would have been locked in on my cleaning business. I wasn't even on YouTube or none of that. <laughs> like, it would have just been straight cleaning business. I probably, I would have been definitely, like, multi, multi millions and, and just the cleaning business. You know what I mean? But I won't, I, I won't lock in. I was looking at the fancy stuff on, on the internet. Mm, I had a question. I've been wanting to pick your head for this. So okay. I've seen you mention it. Does it always plague my mind that there's so much money in the cleaning industry what made you go this way i mean you're still doing it but you're not cleaning no buildings i know right. you want so, to help but it's like i'm so glad know. you said ask that that's a great question so because a lot of people miss that part so what happened was i was with a franchise when i left the franchise because all right so i had a cleaning franchise as a, a business in virginia then i also got hired as a cleaning business operations manager slash franchise consultant in down here in florida where i live now they moved me in so I took that job and ran my franchise back in Virginia. So the problem was I had a, a non-competing Virginia with that franchise. It only it was only for that, that Virginia area. But then I got a new non-compete in this Florida area where I had moved to. So when I quit the, the job with uh, the franchise here and I sold my franchise there, it was like I can't do anything. At least for two years, I couldn't do anything. That's how long the non-compete lasted. So it was like I wanted to start another cleaning business, but I was like, fuck. They probably was going to be waiting for me to do that and try to sue me. So I was like, what the fuck else can I do? So I kind of did this as I ain't had no choice. It was like I had to survive. So I was door dashing. I had a little money coming in from my cleaning business in Virginia, but like we won't that big. You know what I mean? So I was like, fuck it. Well, I guess I better just package up what I know and help the people and sell it. I was already helping anyway. I had I already had hundreds of videos. Like, you know what? Well, how can I make it to a point where they'll actually pay for it? And that's when I was like, fuck it, let me structure it, put it like this. Um, so that's what made me really get into it, honestly. Okay. So you was in a situation where you couldn't go create a whole nother cleaning company and really make money. Right. So you was like, I'm going to just monetize the value that I have with teaching people how to make. Exactly. Because it was like, I ain't, I really ain't have no, I was damn sure I'm about to start a whole nother business because I already knew that, how much effort that takes. You know what I mean? So it was like, fuck. And I damn sure I ain't getting no job. Because, again, I, I had a little income coming from my business in Virginia. I had the YouTube check coming in. It wasn't that big, but it was something. I had a rental property. It wasn't that big, but it was something. So I was like, you know what? If I could just sell enough of these starter kits online, I mean, it was like, we might can make something happen. And I got came up with that lead generation. And that finally made us become like, oh, shit, I got a company now. You know what I mean? And then I just oh, started man. all the other stuff. Yeah. So you just was keeping the motion moving, man. Exactly. How else can I help the people? And then also make sure that it'll be a good, profitable venture for myself. Okay. You created some value out of thin earth. You crazy, bro. You crazy. <laughs> That's yeah. nasty, bro. Yeah. So I bought the starter the starter kit a while ago. And um, it's, part of it is to my own shame, but some of it, I know that, you know, you can't be covetous. You know what I'm saying? That, uh, I be, hey, every time you post grateful, I'll be wanting to put a strong arm emoji in, on your, on your yeah. Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> you can get covetous, you can look at other people and want what they have, but you know, everybody journey different. And um, like I can speak well, I know how to clean up well, you know what I'm saying? I'm, oh, I said something about the starter kit. Yep. And um, man, it's easy because I see I, I know that I know it worked and I know mm -hmm. that I work, but I haven't had the success 
on I'm not able to accomplish this goal yet. And it's it's easy to look at other people who get frustrated and not follow up with buying more leads or getting more leads. Some people who are weak minded might, you know, jump 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 down that rabbit hole, man. Yes, sir. Cause I I know I know how to talk to people. Mm -hmm. I know, you know, I'm a inner city kid, African American male, and it could be it could just be, you know, stressful not seeing not having nobody to they just give you the blueprint, but then I got the blueprint from you, but then it's not working, but it's not because I'm not working or your system isn't working. It's just a time and chance, you know what I'm saying? I gotta just keep playing with them numbers. And okay. I, I gotta so, I gotta kind of bring it full circle. Oh yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I was say, cause I wanna challenge that just a little bit. So you say it's not cause you're not working. So what are you doing to get the customers? I know you said you spent on Angie's at first, but that kind of like, they threw you residential and you went with that. So now you said you buying leads for me. Like, okay, so that's a start. What else are you doing though to get customers? Okay, so I don't know why I'm being lazy, but I was mean. <laughs> right. That's all I'm saying. I just want to make sure. <laughs> I know I can do it, but I was mainly like uh, sitting on the point of one of the leads that we didn't go through. And like when I'm at the study kit, I got 10 of them. Out of 10, you got to be able to land one. At least, I have like one big, big lead, but they wasn't ready yet. You know what I'm saying? They Money ready. wasn't ready yet. But like, so man, with the starter kit, thanks to my own shame, I, I put uh, restaurants on there. Oh, uh -huh. uh, yeah, bro. I, I, I had like it might have been like six, six restaurants, five restaurants. It was a majority restaurant. And some of them restaurants, I didn't notice at the time that you would, uh, like refund or give another, another, uh, another lead for those. But I didn't know until like three months later when I seen some random old I was like, oh, Damn. Yeah. Yo. when I walked into the restaurants, it was like, no, we only do in-house cleaning. Like these are like, uh, chain fast food restaurants. Like a, some of, uh, like some of us like that, but we never, it's against our policy, but either no, we can't do that. I was like, damn. So that's what I just know that I, I know that the system works. I know that I can land those things while I'm in front of somebody. I know I can present present the information well. I know that I can sell those things. It's just a matter of the numbers. And I need to stop being lazy and only relying on the lead generation system. Yeah. Cause I'll be I'll be honest, like a lot of the people that I look at in the group that's successful with it. The way they got their first couple contracts was through us. But then once they got a few on their feet, ain't gonna lie, most of those people don't use us anymore. The only person I see that consistently still use us to this day is uh what's his name? Brandon Lee. So shout out to him. But he he the only one I know that, that I seen like that's doing big numbers that still use us consistently all the time. The rest of them, they pretty much use us to get it going. They'll buy a lead here and there just to support. But honestly, they don't even be using us no more. They figure it out after a while on their own. See, right now, I didn't tell what uh, man, I just, I really hope that I catch another win, the motivation, and really just step it up. Yeah. So after I get around some of those um, successful entrepreneurs up there, man, so I'm excited. Yeah, hell yeah. It, that'll definitely help put that fire in, under you. And then, too, it's like, you must don't, you probably don't hate your job, because that's usually all it takes. Like, if you hate doing that every single day, that'll keep that fire going every day, but. It's like, if you don't hate it, then it's like, all right, cool. You can kind of coast the way you're doing it and just keep working on it at your pace, which is fine. See, that's exactly kind of where my spirit is, where my heart is, because naturally I'm kind of patient and I let, I don't force a lot of plays. I don't force a lot of stuff. That's not really, I like the best of everything. Right. I like being intentional. I like being, you know, I like taking my time and letting them kind of happen over time organically. Instead of trying to take off to a certain level and not be able to maintain it because my foundation wasn't strong enough. That's kind of, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a bore over it. Over time kind of guy. I'm not trying to get rich quick. I'm not trying to, I don't desire to be super rich. I do want to be, I do want to have some luck. If I do have money, I want to be able to maintain it. So I'm kind of, that's just where my mind is at. But I know that this is a, I know that this is, I know it is. Yeah, for sure, bro. All, all you got to do, like you said, just do the numbers. You already know what to do. I ain't even got to tell you, so I ain't going to say it like I always say it. You know what you got to do. Just set it, you know what I mean? I, ain't gonna, I keep saying I ain't going to say it, but I keep trying to say I ain't going to say it. You know what to do, you know what I mean? Just, hey, just say it anyway. I got to hear it. 
<laughs> right. Put that number down. Now I mean, like pick at least one hour a day, Monday through Friday. I'm going to hit 20 buildings up minimum Monday through Friday. Out of them 20 buildings, that's 100 buildings a week. That's about 400 buildings a month. Whether you cold call, whether you go door to door, whether you obviously, if you buy leads, that'll cost way too much to get 20 a day. But my point is, door to door and cold call in particular, just 20 a day, Monday through Friday. That's 400 a month. Out of them 400 contacts, you should be able to schedule at least four walkthroughs. Out of them four walkthroughs, at least close one of them. And, the, and there you go. You get a contract every single month. That's the difference, bro. Saying they, they're doing it, man. That's yeah. what it. That's what really changed the game. Yeah, that is it. And it's only one hour. One hour. And really, it don't even take an hour, a whole hour to contact 20. You probably can contact 20 businesses in 20 minutes on the phone. You know what I mean? So that's it. We really could say 20 minutes a day. Yeah, we, all right, let's round it up. Let's go 30 minutes a day. Just commit 30 minutes a day to this business. And by the end of this year, it's February now. You start now in February. That'll be 11 contracts by the end of the year. I mean, you up. <laughs> 11 contracts, you up by the end of the year. But you just got to commit to it. I got to do it. Yeah. So uh, I got sacked here, ladies. It's about do it. Ain't nobody thought. Nobody yeah. Ain't nobody go. Ain't no fight. Ain't nobody for me. That's it. It's like hearing the stuff you know, you know already. <laughs> and this is the, I'm getting fired. <laughs> right. And the good thing about you, though, is you, you ain't scared to own it. You know what I mean? Like, you'll just say, look, I know what I ain't doing. I know what it is. And it's like, because some people will get and try to, they'll be in the exact same situation, and they'll just, they'll, oh, well, it's AJ fault. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or they, they, the Scotty kid ain't it. Or it's this or it's that. And it's like, no, nah, it's you. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's likely you. Like, we got to put that with that action and that effort in. And it's shit. I got shit going on right now. Where is the meat? Like with this conference, for example, I'm struggling like hell trying to sell these tickets and trying to put the event together because we ain't got the budget that I was expecting to have. But it's my fault. You know what I mean? It's certain shit that I did not do that I had said I was going to do and I ain't do it right. So that's what I get. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now I got to I gotta deal with it. Okay, so what what you think about... uh? So at my position, because I got a piece of credit score, like it's like 750. You know, I got like a couple of credit cards I just use to swipe gas every now and then i was thinking about a world even you know like nah, i need to just not be lazy bro. i need to not because i was going to say get a loan to do what because here's the thing if you if you get a loan you got to pay it back and it's like why would we go get another bill for something that ain't even generating income yet so absolutely not i wouldn't do that i wouldn't do it i know it's people out there that say they they would advise it but not me i'm not into that at all and i got a, i got plenty i got hundreds of thousands in business debt you know what i mean so and i how hell no don't do it see that and the only the only thing that's feeling that is me being lazy because the only thing yeah. i would use it for right now would be to generate leads right it's like i'm big on like bro, I, I, i'm a gritter you know what i'm saying I don't know if y'all said Florida, you know what I'm saying, but inner city. You said you were what now? A credit, you know what I'm saying? Like inner city kid, like not having nothing, you know what I'm saying? So, gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Like the grit there. But just coming into the corporate world, it's a different kind of grind. It's a different kind of grit that I'm not, I'm not used to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And just, just, just apply it. Like, I because that's how I used to do it. Like, cause I used to, I used to hustle on the streets and I just said, you know, I'm going to take the same hustle I had out there and just translate it to this. You know what I mean? But you just gotta, you just gotta commit. That's all. You just gotta want it. You gotta find something that's going to piss you all bad enough. Like me having to go to a job every day was enough for me. And I knew I can't, I'm like, cause I'm looking at the, the old people, right? They used to work at shipyard, Walmart, all these different jobs. And they, all of them different jobs, they had old people there that was in their sixties and stuff. And they back her and they're moving in slow motion. And I can tell that whatever the hell they did with their life, I ain't trying to do that shit. Like, I'm not about to be here with them. So it was like, I always was every single day, what can I do to get me out of this job situation to where I ain't never got to do this shit no more? Because I ain't trying to stay in here. And it's like, but that was the drive for me. I don't know what it got to be for you, but you got to find something that's going to piss you off enough. I don't know. Do you got kids? Hey, man, I'm a big share with man. I got I got two kids. Well, I got one. I got one that's supposed to be coming March. So I'm trying to get out here to this trip and really turn it up, man. Before there she you go, that use that. No, I mean, like by the time March hit, 
I mean, that's because you ain't got that much time for that. So, like, just use that as your motivation. Like, you ain't trying to let have your kids out here trying to figure out, you know what I mean, look for jobs and all of this mess because they're dead together. You know what I mean? Like, use that, too, because I definitely use that as well. Once I started having kids, that's when I really turned it up. I got to turn it up. I got to turn it up. I, I'm hoping that I can say, hey, man, I grabbed a little contract, man. It's underway. You know, we finna sign off whenever I come down there. I'm hoping I can set up like that, too. But let's do that then. Let's make that the goal before the 28th. Go ahead, just hop on the money. You can spare what 30 to an hour, right? 30 minutes to an hour, Monday through Friday. Yeah, I can. Man. Then go ahead and do it. Lock in, bro. And then but before this month, because you got what 20, what's the day? The day the 28. You got 20 days. Because you can start the day. It ain't too late. <laughs> no, you can start the day. You can put an hour in right quick on the phone. So Go ahead, Bobby. I didn't mean to cut you off. Now you good. I would say the 20 days, bro. 20 days. By the time you get to the conference, I just when I see you, like, bro, I got one. You know what I mean? That's all I want to hear. As soon as I see you, I'm gonna ask you too. <laughs> um hey, we hey, what you what's your I'm, hey that's a bet though. Challenge accepted. Okay. Part of it, I got two things for you. One, yeah, I don't know if you want to post this video after this. But um, man, the culture you can have two, you can have more than one wife. So I got it. Okay. I, so you know, I got two wives. We all stay together. And uh, um, you know, I'm, I'm judgment free zone for sure. Completely judgment free. So no worries over here. Okay. So man, I told one of them today. I said, go ahead and jump back on that spreadsheet. This is why I told her today, and yeah. start putting them businesses for me so I can call them while I'm driving on the road because I can make them calls. So I can, I can have those conversations. You know, I got the time for it. It's just. It's really just come down to be wanting about another, like you identifying it perfectly. Yeah, just first time I speak. So, I'm and that's hard too. So, you said you got two wives and one of them can call. Shit, dude, get her to do it then. <laughs> you know what I mean? Get her to do it. And you just go to the walkthrough and close the deal. One hour a day. That's what they're there for, man, to actually help. You know what I'm saying? And I want them to be invested in that, you know, to actually enjoy and see the fruits from it too. Let's, that keep you motivated, you know? Yeah. Damn, I thought of this. I wanted to do this. It happened. Seeing, you know, manifesting it and coming true, it really just push push you to the next level too. I got to get it go up there. So challenge accepted, man. All right, bro. So on the 28th, I'm going to see you. And I'm we're we going to see this. We're going to talk about that new contract. That's all. And I want, you in the group, right? You you got to be in the Facebook group, obviously, right? I, I, I'm not. I'm not. Oh, this, damn. Yeah, you need to take a full advantage of the kid. So that's the best thing too, because that's how you stay motivated every day. When you in that group, I would say at least once a day, if not every other day, somebody in there posting how they just closed the deal on another contract. And that right there keep you going like, damn, I'm fucking tripping. I got to go get mine. All these motherfuckers. You know what I mean? And you can see everybody. They, they ain't nobody special. They regular people just like us. You know what I mean? So like definitely get in that group. But yeah, just add yourself to the group. It's like, if you go to facebook.com slash clean biz network, it'll take you right to the group. Okay, bet. That's a bet. I'm going to jump. I'm going to. I think that's all I got, man. I ain't gonna hold you up too much, man. I got 25 minutes out of you now, but I'm up. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> well, shit, man. I'm gonna take care, bro. I appreciate you for coming on, taking the time to speak with me and just execute. You know what I mean? Lock in. And on the 28th, we're gonna follow up with you. Know what I mean, I'm gonna put this video out before so that way everybody in the world can judge you with me if you ain't closing up the hill by the 28th. All right, that's the path, bro. Yeah, all right, Shane. I appreciate it. Listen, every single year I host the biggest celebration of the cleaning industry, and that's the Clean Biz Network Conference, y'all. And get ready, get your tickets ASAP before time runs out. Go to www.cbnconference.com and meet me there. We're going to be in Las Vegas, y'all. Las Vegas at the JW Marriott Hotel. Get your tickets. You do not want to miss this event. Every single year it gets bigger and better. The dates are February 28th through March 1st, 2024. And this year, and we got a special guest hosting, y'all. This next conference that will be hosted by none other than Tenacity Academy, y'all. Tenacity Clean, y'all seen them on their YouTube channel, Mrs. Johnson, Miss Tamika. They gonna kill it, they gonna bring that energy. And not only them, we also got some amazing speakers lined up for y'all. I'm talking about Mr. Eric Coffey from GovCon Giants. If you are interested in government contracts, everybody knows Eric Coffey is the man he 
is the GOAT of the government contract, y'all. So you definitely want to be there to hear from him. We got Raylan Dunlap from the Hustle Network. Check out our YouTube channel. Massive, all about just hustling and getting to this money, y'all. Shout out to the Cleaning Balls family. Meet DJ The Balls at the Clean Biz Network Conference. We also got Mila, the host keeper, the queen of Airbnb cleaning, y'all. Miss Carolyn Arilano. Y'all already know that she killing it as well in the cleaning space. The legendary Debbie Sardone, who has been the number one residential cleaning consultant for I don't know how long now. She's probably the best to ever do it in the residential cleaning space. Mr. Mario Kelly, who specializes in stadiums, y'all. If you ever wanted to know how to get those big contracts cleaning the sports stadiums and all of that, you do not want to miss this. Mario Kelly will be there. And we also have the king of client attraction. Mr. Mark Will Russell will be in the building. You do not want to miss the event. And we have so many other great speakers as well. Too many to name. Not to mention we're going to have breakout sessions. We're going to have special dinners served. It's going to be a black tie affair. We're going to give out awards. I'm telling you, it's going to be so big. Live DJs, you do not want to miss this event. Go to www.cbnconference.com. Get your tickets. Meet me there. Meet my wife. Meet my kids. We all going to be there. Let's get it, y'all.